it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 23rd. Okay, so for this is for right around the 23rd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles, interesting. Hangman reversed. Okay, so two Pentacles reversed. That is trying to do too much. It's lacking balance, lacking organization. Somebody is lacking. Okay, they're lacking organization. They can't control themselves. It could be very chaotic. Chaotic. That's like over overextending. Uh, next to the page of pentacles. Now that is somebody that is taking an opportunity. Somebody that is committed to doing something. Um, their mind is made up. They've decided that they are going to do something. Okay. But they may not have thought it out completely. But that two of pentacles reversed. This is uh, no contingency plan. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. But they may be biting off more than they can chew. All right. So somebody has made up their mind. They're going to do it. You know, they're determined. They see an opportunity to do something. They're going to do it. But the hangman reversed is obsessed. Somebody that is obsessed. Somebody that is egotistical. That won't change. Their mind, somebody's mind is definitely made up. This is somebody who says, you know, I got this opportunity. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to change my mind. But they're not. It feels like this person is not planning effectively they're very stubborn okay they've made up their mind this person is has made some sort of poor decision that is a this is a poor decision they've made a poor very uh, stuck stuck in their ways refusing to see something from a new perspective has something to prove you know it's i know that kind of energy i know i'm unwilling I don't need to listen to anybody, you know, that kind of, this is somebody that is struggling to let go, struggling to see them something from any other perspective at all. Um, poor decision. This is a poor decision. Falling flat, falling. Star card. Help is arriving for hoping for stability. This is hoping for a stability. We got somebody here that is willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want. This is somebody that is going to put in effort. They're a little weary though. Definitely this person seems like, ah, uh, this does look to be a good opportunity. Hoping for the best. Hoping for stability. Now, this is all about money or stability. This is this Four of Pentacles is definitely an obsession as well. And then both of these cards resisting change. We got somebody here that is very, very stubborn. They're very stubborn. They they got a golden opportunity in their hand, but their stubbornness is a problem. Extremely stubborn. Now, the star comes after the tower, so this is like an angel. Okay, it's an angel arriving, an angel coming to help, offering help, offering assistance. But it feels like we have this, this very obsessed, controlling individual that is more focused on their financial status than the blessing that they have been offered. Somebody has been offered a blessing but they can't see it. They can't see it because they're they're playing games. They're overextending themselves. They're unwilling to see it. It's like their eyes are closed. This is somebody that is not very enlightened. Very, very egotistical. You know, we have a very egotistical individual here that is stubborn as hell. That is focused on their money. They're focused on their money, 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 money. And it's like... They're, this is a gift. It's like they have a gift that they're not seeing. They're missing an opportunity. 
They are. They're missing an opportunity for something beautiful because of stubbornness, which is interesting. Now, that that star card is a card of purpose. It's a card of 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 uh, a wish being granted, something you always wished for. Somebody, this is unexpected help that, uh, that arrives. This is like a fairy godmother, mother, or an angel bringing somebody a gift. But it feels like this person. I don't know if they're going to take it. I see a lot of stubbornness here. King of Cups. King of Cups is somebody that is typically very feeling, you know, has a big heart, is looking for love. This is a romantic, somebody that is very charming. Um, this romantic, this romantic man here um, has an opportunity Definitely has an opportunity, but feels like there's stubbornness here. Um, now that star card is, is, is a gift. It's like an angel. It is an angel. It's like an angel arriving um, with an opportunity, with a gift. A gift of security, stability. Uh, yeah, it's like there is definitely somebody that is that is arriving, Okay. This person can help, can help you to heal, can help you to thrive, can guide you. Could be somebody that is famous, the star, it could be a star. Um, that is guided, guidance, guided. Somebody is being guided. You're being guided by, you know, I don't know, even guided perhaps by somebody that has passed away to see something, but they're, this person just can't see it because they're so focused. They're so focused on their money or something like that. Um, we definitely have an individual here that isn't very happy. They're not. They're not. I can see that they're not very happy. They're not happy where they're at. They're biting off more than they can chew right now. It feels like their life is a mess. It's a very messy situation. Overwhelmed. You got somebody here that is overwhelmed. And they're really struggling. The, the, the hangman in reverse is a person that is obsessed with control. That never learns their lesson in reverse. This person never learns their lesson because control is where it's at for this person. It's all about controlling. But there's going to be some sort of financial loss and things are going to keep you know, being unstable and insecure until this person is able to negotiate and able to uh, look at things from other perspectives. We have somebody here that refuses to look at things from any other perspective. This is a know-it-all, right? Whoever this person is has a new opportunity, okay? Because this is a new opportunity. Now, this is about commitment setting goals, a new enterprise, uh, investing. So this is uh, starting over. Somebody has an opportunity to start over. It won't be easy. Starting over isn't easy. But there's an opportunity for happiness here. There's an op This is a wish being granted. This is what you asked for. Somebody asked for... Uh, healing or they asked for a chance or they asked for love or something like that and this is what they got they got the opportunity but it's like they're too resisting it now this is resisting resisting this opportunity somebody is resisting an opportunity that they asked for which is crazy i don't know why people do that shit anyway king of cups king of cups Ah, oh, Three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups is having fun, partying, drinking, socializing, uh, being friends, maybe a reunion. There could be a reunion here. Somebody may have an opportunity uh, for a reunion, but there's a lack of communication, lack of forward movement. There could, even could be some jealousy issues here or blocking, blocking of emotions. Somebody is blocking their emotions.
there definitely is a new opportunity with that page of pentacle page of pentacles but the page of pentacles is is when somebody finds their moral backbone to do the right thing or to to start fresh or to start over even though it's not easy so i feel like we have somebody here that is really struggling they're struggling with starting over they are. They're struggling. And maybe they have to make a choice because this is a choice. And this is maybe it's a choice between two different people because of, there's a three of cups could be a third party interference. Somebody is struggling with a choice. They have to make a choice. They got this new opportunity. It's not going to be easy to start over, but it's a wish. It's something that they want. Okay. They want to. They just, you know, to give up their stance. You know, that's a big deal when you've got to give up your stance, you know. And maybe there's an apology that's needed. And we got some, because Page of Pentacles can be an apology. And, you know, some people don't, they can't apologize. They can't. Because it's a blow to their ego. The hangman reverse is somebody that is highly egotistical. Their ego rules them. They can't, this is a fragile ego. Ego. Okay, so we do have somebody with a fragile ego that is looking for love and does have an opportunity for wish fulfillment. It's like their wish has been granted, but they're resisting change because, you know, apologies suck. Foolish pride. Anyway, two of pentacles wasn't planned, unplanned. Now, there's a mess here. This is very, very messy. So it's a messy situation. Somebody wasn't planning on making a choice. They weren't planning on going down this path. But now it's been presented to them. Now, this is after the tower falls. The star arrives. Okay, the star of the show, whatever. The star arrives after the tower falls. The star comes to pick you up out of this mess and, you know, bring you happiness whatever it is to help you heal so um it's a beauty it is a real beauty so somebody has an opportunity um with a real beauty uh, but this is stubborn as hell we have a lot of stubbornness here resisting change mm. There is going, somebody is, been, has been procrastinating. They are going to be, be inviting or offering or something like that. They've been planning. They've been planning. They've been planning their next move. They're thinking about it. Um, they want to make sure that it lasts this time. They want to make sure that it's stable, that it's the right thing to do. Somebody is really thinking about the future, right? The Knight of Pentacles thinks and plans. This is the planner, somebody that, you know, um, uses common sense before they take action. So somebody is really thinking about they're building a new foundation. They're thinking about their future and they're planning. They're planning right now. Um, but wanting, wanting stability, wanting to make sure that this is going to last. That's what I see. Page of pen. I mean, the Knight of pentacles. We have a lot of pentacles here. We have somebody here that is really focused on long-term security, and that's what they want. They want they want long-term stability. They're looking for love. They want love. They're going to be extending an offer. Somebody could even be getting a gift. Okay, somebody may be getting proposed to or something like that. Not not everybody, so don't get your hopes up. Um, but this is a gift. Somebody may be offering, you know, something, a new beginning, even. Maybe it could be even getting invited to, you know, go out, maybe go out for drinks or something like that. Invited to a celebration of some sort. This person is weary though. Whoever is doing the inviting is very weary. They're scared. They are scared. They're scared of, you know, being shut down or something like that. Injustice. Not fair. Somebody did not do the right thing, or they're not doing the right thing, or they're not telling the truth. This is lack of accountability, being dishonest. There's an imbalance. Somebody's not happy. 
This is some a legal loss going against somebody, placing blame, not wanting to accept responsibility. We have somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And that's why they're not communicating. They're not communicating. They may be engaging with a third party or third party interference or whatever. They may be drinking, covering it up, whatever. There's some sort of illegal... Uh, well, maybe there's consequences. They don't want to face the consequences. That's what it is. But I do feel like this person is thinking about it. And I feel like they are, you know, you know, the, these pentacles about doing the right thing, even though it's not going to be easy. Somebody is, is becoming more realistic, becoming practical. They may have been in their emotions and they're starting to see things in a more practical manner. They're starting to get realistic, be more realistic about, you know, what they want. Somebody probably wants to hold on. They may want to hold on to something that, this is a big, bright opportunity. This is bright. This is this is somebody that this is this is a star, okay? The star is bright. This is beautiful. It's something to hold on to. So somebody wants to hold on to this. <laughs> dream, whatever it is. Looks like it's a dream. They've been dreaming of it, but in order to do so, they're going to have to be honest. And I think there's some dishonesty here. Somebody has there is dishonesty. Um That Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is somebody that takes charge. They come up with a plan and then they do it. And they, it's very, it's a very solid plan. So somebody is coming up with a solid plan because they, they don't, they want to hold on to something. They want to hold on. They don't, they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose. And it feels like they're losing, they're losing something right now. They're losing control. They're losing their stance. They are, they absolutely are. And if they don't, it's almost like they need to take action. And they've been procrastinating quite a bit because, uh, you know, it, this will require commitment. It will require commitment. It will require hard work to heal something, something about healing. So there is, this can be healed. There is healing. Um, but there is some sort of injustice here. This is, this isn't fair. Um, Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. Hermit. Enlightenment. Going within. Becoming aware. Somebody is being coming aware. They are seeing an injustice. They are seeing that somebody was treated unfairly. They are seeing it. Somebody is planning their next move. They are. A lot of planning going on right now. Somebody is planning their next move. Leaving. Somebody is leaving. They're leaving something. They're leaving. That's saying goodbye. Somebody's leaving. Headed towards wish fulfillment. Headed towards what they want. Headed towards their dream come true. Somebody is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. And they're headed right, right towards this star. Right towards this wish fulfillment. Right towards this blessing. This is a blessing. This is like an angel of some sort. So somebody is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. They are saying goodbye. They are because they want wish fulfillment. They are headed towards wish fulfillment. They know it's not going to be easy, but they're going to do it anyway. They are. Somebody is. They're, they're going to let go of... Well, they are. They're letting go of something. They're letting go of this life or friends, family, third party, whoever it is that they've been hanging on to. They're letting go of that.
saying goodbye. Somebody is definitely, even that Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. There's no doubt about it. There could be an argument with no resolution in sight with that justice underneath that justice reversed. Somebody decides that they're leaving. They're like, you know what? There's no reason for me to stay here. I'm out. Definitely we have an individual here that has become enlightened. They now see things from a new perspective after struggling so hard, trying not to. Okay, they were trying to prove something or whatever. It's like there's been some sort of epiphany or something. Somebody has been reflecting. They've been reflecting on what they want. Now they're about to come out. They're about to come out from hiding, whatever. They've been they've been reflecting, they've been thinking. They've been thinking about what they have to offer. They've been thinking about probably what the other person has to offer. They've been and they're about to step forward. And that's what it looks like to me. So I don't know who this person is, but we they have decided to leave emotional disappointment behind and go after wish fulfillment. So somebody is taking a walk or taking a ride. They're going somewhere. They've made up their mind. Their mind is made up. Queen of Wands. The devil. So the devil is a strong attraction, strong desire. Strong desire. So strong desire and attraction here. Somebody is headed towards somebody that they are very, very, very attracted to. This is somebody that they, they have a lot of sex appeal with. You know, there's a strong sexual attraction, strong magnetic attraction, strong pull, um, strong connection. These people are bound together. You know, there's some sort of... Uh, deep connection so somebody is headed towards uh that connection there is definitely obsession here there's obsession there's a strong obsession there's codependency it's like i need you i need you that kind of energy um very determined we have determination here strong somebody is finding their strength and their courage and their confidence to go after this connection i think it's 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 a there's it's a, there's a strong desire to do so so there is going to be some communication from somebody that uh feels very highly attracted it feels like they have not been expressing themselves they have not been communicating they've been trying to fight it you know they've been trying to fight it they've been trying to um not go down that path but i feel like They can't stop themselves. It's like the pull is so strong, you know. The desire is so strong. There's an opportunity to start fresh. And there's an opportunity for it to last. But a new approach will be needed. Somebody is going to take a new approach. They are going to communicate. It's like they've gone through an awakening. Okay, this is a wake-up call. It is. It's awakening. They've, you know. So somebody is going to be communicating with somebody that they are very, very, very attracted to. And they may be, may be hoping and wishing for the best. They're going to take a chance. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm reluctant, but I'm going to do it. I feel like this could lead to long-term success. It could. This is something you can hold on to. It's something that you can take to the bank. It's something that can last. But a new approach is needed. And this, this stubborn individual needs to let go of their fear. And they need to not worry about what their friends and family say. Because that's an issue as well. So the Ace of Swords is a new beginning. It is. Taking a new approach. Speaking the truth. Communicating. Somebody may get an offer or an invite. 
from somebody that has been isolating them or something like or cold towards them this person may suddenly warm up and I don't know who this person is um, could be anybody good luck